Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and do you like free stuff? Because if you do, I've got something for you today. This is a free asset pack from Cinti. It's actually available for Unity, and you can see it right here running in the Unity editor to give you an idea of the kind of content you're getting. But as you will see in just a second, this can easily be exported out to whichever game engine you wish. So it's a... Uh a battle royale type environment, everything here you see, all the modular stuff in place to make this level is included in this pack, and you can get this completely for free uh, within the next week. Again, I'll show you the exact details of it uh, in a second, but first I'm going to show you this running in a couple of different systems. So here we are inside of Unity. This here, same thing, uh, but this is Blender. Uh, I moved a couple things around, so this plane has moved slightly, but otherwise, same thing. Uh, I actually like the lighting in Unity by far and away uh, the least of all these, I might note. Uh, but here you can see this is it running inside of the Blender game engine, oh sorry, the Blender application. So you could obviously move this to whichever platform you wish. Uh, next up we have uh, Godot game engine. I think this lighting is a default lighting. I didn't do anything. I literally just imported the file out from Blender and imported it into Godot. And I actually honestly think that this is the best looking lighting of the of the three so far, um, although in my opinion, uh, Unreal Engine may actually give it a run for the money in just a second. So here we can see this is the environment running in the Godot game engine, and then finally here we are in Unreal Engine, uh, a little bit more sunny, bright. Obviously you could tweak the lighting in every one of these to get it to look the same in other engines. This is literally just the default. Um, high quality stuff, so we got some tanks going on. Uh, we got uh, some APCs and some Jeeps and Hummers and such, all in that, you know, um, traditional Cinti low polygon style. So that is all the contents of it, and that is it running in multiple different environments. But this is ultimately a Unity bundle. So you're going to have to export it out from Unity uh, if you're not using Unity. Obviously, if you are using Unity, uh, this will work quite well. And you're going to find here, uh, it's got full prefabs in that case. So if you need to create something, it's going to work the easiest and the best if you are working in Unity. Unity, but there are mechanisms to get this into other engines. So even if you are not a Unity developer, pay attention to this one because if you like Cinti's art style, you can get this guy for free. And here is how. So if you go to the Unity Asset Store, by the way, I did a text post about this, but not a video. There's also a 30 for 30 mega bundle going on right now. I will link that down below. So if you want to learn more about that, I will have that article there. It's actually a really nice bundle, some really great tools in there. If you are sticking with the Unity ecosystem, uh, that one might be worth checking out for you. But what you're actually interested in today is this guy right here. Unity Asset Store does free giveaways uh, from a, like an asset publisher, and they usually give away one asset with a code and then uh, a bunch of other stuff available out of it. So here you can see 50% off Cinti Studio assets here. Uh, and if you go into it, you will find, again, all the Cinti stuff is on sale. So all their packs are 50% off on the asset store. Uh, but what you'll find here is at checkout with uh, no purchase necessary, you just need to create an account on the asset store. Use the code Cinti23 at checkout and it is yours for free. So that is the Battle Royale pack that we just looked at today. Uh, and yeah, so you just saw it in multiple different game engines if you are interested in checking that out. Uh, in terms of how you actually use these in other engines, I have a bunch of articles I will link. I've been doing these for quite a while now. Uh, there is one specific on using Unity uh, to port to the Godot game engine. Uh, one of the problems with this one, though, is the um, the one asset in here, if you want to use it, you're going to have to build it from scratch now. Uh, it is a Rust project. It's not too bad. It's an optional step, uh, but that has changed in here. But I got a step-by-step -step video on getting assets from Unity to Godot. Uh, also, I have one for using Unity to Unreal Engine using the Utu plugin, which is pretty awesome. It's a commercial plugin for 25 bucks. There are other ways to get out, by the way, so you don't need to use that YouTube plugin to get it into Unreal Engine. It's just by far and away the best I've seen so far. Also, uh, there is a mechanism, there is a tool out there, uh, the Unity Package Extractor, which you can use to actually ax um, to extract the files out of a Unity package. And then you're gonna get just a bunch of FBX files that you can work with. So if you're interested in, that is there. By the way, you still do need to have Unity installed no matter how you look at it, because you can only download from the asset store legally using the uh, Unity um, 
IDE. So there, are, uh, that is a requirement. You do need to download 100%. So you can only download from the asset store using Unity, and there's no workarounds to that, as far as I know. And if you do, you're breaking their terms of service. But uh, also, we got uh, just a generalized how you can get things out of the asset store. So I did a video before for Blender, Godot, Lumberyard, CryEngine, Unreal Engine, etc. More of a generic way of doing things on how you can get things out. This is older and probably will give you the, the worst results, but it has the most catch-all. So if you're interested. Uh, that is a fallback there as well. Uh, and then you may be questioning, okay, well, is all of this illegal or not? And uh, in this particular case, it is definitely legal. Uh, but this video kind of has a breakdown of how each one works out. So if you're wondering about the legality of moving from Unity to Unreal or Unreal to Unity, etc., cetera, uh, I've got you covered with this particular video here. And then uh, if you're interested in picking up more Sinti stuff, also be aware there is a Humble Bundle going on right now. I will link this down below as well. It's the best of Sinti game dev assets. This one is not in it, so this is an additional asset there. But if you like what you see and you want to get some more asset packs, uh, I've shown these in a couple of videos over the past little while. Just one thing to be aware of, this one is expiring. By the time this video goes up, it looks like you'll have about three days left. And I don't know if there's been an extension on this one or not at this point in time. So you may literally just have a couple of days left to pick this one up. But that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're interested, you can pick this one up on the Unity Asset Store. Uh, no purchase required. You do need an account. Use the code CINTI23 at checkout. It is yours to keep forever. And as you can see, it works in, obviously it works in Unity, and it works the best in Unity. Again, that's where it's got all the prefabs and everything set up. But using a variety of different mechanisms, you can get it over into uh, the Unreal Game Engine. You can get it over into uh, the Godot Game Engine. And you can get it over into Blender. Oops, I always do that. Uh, and here, so you can see, and I think it it looks very good in all of them. The Cinti assets port very well between game engines. So I think no matter which one you go with, you'll be able to get this working in whichever mechanism you want. And once again, if you are a Unity asset, if you're a Unity user still, uh, I didn't do a video about this because it was a very quietly mentioned bundle. I know there's a lot of things going on in the Unity world right now. Uh, but if you are a Unity developer, there is this bundle out there. I'm not doing a dedicated video on it, but I did do a write-up of it. Uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more, more about this bundle. Uh, there's some really cool stuff in here, like the U modeler package here, uh, which has been updated since I last checked it out. Easy grid builder, a bunch of uh, asset packs like Tiny Toon RTS set and weapons here that you could get out into other engines using the same mechanisms, by the way. Uh, we got Digger here, uh, Aurora FPS, and a bunch of other stuff in here. Uh, I think the one that I found the most interesting looking was there's one that's like um, Substance Painter, it looked like. Surforge. So this is the uh, the asset in this list that actually looked kind of the coolest to me, and I may check this one out. So if you've got an interest in it, let me know. I may do a follow-up video of it. I know Unity isn't like the biggest thing in the world right now, but if you are a Unity developer looking to pick up some stuff, this is a very small commitment, so uh, pretty cheap price on the whole. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. A free asset from Cinti. Again, use the code Cinti23 at checkout, and it is yours to keep forever. And as you saw, well demonstrated in this video. Works in just about any game engine you wish. Check for all the relevant links down below. I will have everything you need. And hopefully you guys found this useful because, hey, we all like free stuff, right? All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.